welcome to the creative formula for the bass guitar. Today's program, I'm going to try something different. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the slap bass technique. And basically I'm going to be using the techniques that I use and that I learned learning the bass when I first started learning how to slap and thump and pop and pluck. So we're going to get started with a little bit of foundation work. And the main thing I'm going to look at is the natural relationships of the open E string and the fretted E. Then the natural relationship to the open A and the fretted A. the underlining characteristics of, of your slap and your pop on the bass. Because the relationships um, with the bass, it, it gives you that natural, in, the natural intonation of the bass. And the tones. slapping your pop. So with that said, I have I develop a nice rhythmic pattern off my open E. And I use my left hand to get like a pulse to deaden the notes. Now one thing that's so characteristic is that when someone says to you that that you're dumping the bass when someone says to you that you're dumping the bass characteristic because your thumb, you're using your thumb exclusively. And as I'm hitting the bass, I'm using the sweet part of my thumb. And I'm using um, I'm borrowing a guitar method, which is your alternate picking. One down, one up. One down, one up, off the E. So you're using that, that guitar method. And I'm coming up, I'm plucking off my D, which is the seventh of E. Now, with, with the slap bass growing and so many players are becoming so proficient in it, they they added the third finger, so you, you get like this alternate with, with your thumb your index finger and your middle finger almost coming from a flamingo style getting that flamingo style so as I come if I go slap open pop pluck slap open pop slap Slap, open, pop, pluck, slap, open, pop, pluck. I'm 
What's the name? Another technique I like to take a look at is um, the disco pattern, which had a, had a, a great history with slapping and popping for me. And off that disco pattern, you would have. And I would, I would go one. Thumb and first finger, slap, pop, slap, pop, and get like a pattern. And that's where that second finger will come in also, because you can alternate to get a nice clear, a nice clear tone. I was I was slide into the note. Um, one of the patterns that I like a lot is the open, the open E and the fretted E coming right across the bass, giving that nice song. So let's try this here, this pattern, we go Slap, open, pop, pluck Slap, open, pop, snap, open Pop, pluck, snap, open, pop Now, as we slap in the bass you keep in mind what notes you want to hit to get that thumping sound. And what I use as a springboard, in this case, that we're working in E minor, I would take that E minor scale and I try to call out the notes. So let's see what I have. I have, I have E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and E again. Then I'll go up the bass ascending. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, then D. Then from this D, 